this is still tea or coffee we're just joining us on high impact television now we want to go straight into talking about knowing your genotype most people just hear genotype they don't know what it is the types that we have and exactly what how it is formed and so many other things that relate with genotype so today we'll be talking about that and we have a guest in the studio in person of timmy edwin and i'll be reading a short profile Timmy Edwin is the CEO of Crimson Bow Sickle Cell Initiative and advocates for sickle cell policies, and she tirelessly creates awareness for the sickle cell policies. She has 12 years' experience in the corporate field that cuts across human resources, finance, business development, administration, amongst others. You are most welcome to the show. It's good Thank to have you. Very you. Very it's good to be here. Thank you. Mm, yes, let's start from the very, very basic. What is a genotype? Different people have different genotypes. Yes. Okay. So genotypes are what separate each individual. I mean, every individual, no matter black, white, you know, mm -hmm. ca um, Asian, Caucasian. Have, Caucasian, have um, what we call genotypes. Yes. They are the things that are um, hereditary and they are passed across from generation to generation, depending on the match of parents, mm. you know, to the condition. Yes. Okay. okay. So what's the difference between genotype and phenotype? Phenotype is a breakdown of genotype. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. In, in what regards? Does... Okay, so for instance, let me talk about sickle cell. Okay. Um, you notice that people who have it, who have sickle cell have um, don't experience sickle cell the same way. Okay. This is because of the type of phenotype they have. Mm, okay. So some people have it worse, and these um, phenotypes come from they were developed based on the location that you know that it started from a long time ago. Mm. So people with sickle cell, for instance, um, can have someone um, inherit, can inherit from Cameroon, um, Senegal, and come together. So yes, you're Nigerian, but you could have like a generational, like a lineage. Okay. So this is, you know, this, these okay. two things, these breakdowns is what, call, is, what is called phenotype. Phenotype. Mm, okay, so tell us about the types of genotypes that we have. Okay, so we have genotype AA, okay. genotype AS, genotype mm. SS. Mm. There, there are also like a breakdown of other things mm. of these genotypes. So for instance, there's AC, there's um, AB, mm. there is um, AS, there's SSC, okay. there's, okay. there's something called beta thessalonomy. Do you understand? They are like different things. They range from from the A to the Z, depending on where you are from in the country, in the in the world. But well, the most popular are AA, AS, AS and SS. SS. Okay, let's talk about genotype compatibility. What is that? Mm. Okay, so genotype compatibility is quite important because this def this defines what um, type of children you bring to the world. I mean, if you are not compatible with your parents, with your partner genotype-wise, you extend the risk of bringing children that have sickle cell to the world or ch children that have other um, um, blood disorders to the world. And talking mm -hmm. about SS and SC, are they, is SC a variant of the sickle cell? Mm. Is it uh, such that maybe it is fully formed in one person, that's the SS, and not fully formed? Or is it that the person with the genotype SC is just a mere carrier? I, I need to understand that. Okay, so the difference between SS and SC is that it's a variant of sickle cell. So they are all sickle cell. Oh, okay. But sickle cell now has different variants. Okay. But these variants now dis distinguish the type of characteristics that each person, uh, the type of features this person experiences. So for instance, people with SC have less, lesser, it has a, have a milder condition than people with SS. Mm. So for instance, some of them do not begin to experience crisis to their teenage years. Mm. Some mm. of them, um, another thing that distinguishes them is some of them have eye issues, have leg, um, leg issues, stuff like that. But basically, it's just that they are all sickle cell in different variants. Okay. You are an advocate for, um, you know, you, tell, you always tell people to know their genotypes. You're mm. an advocate for knowing your genotypes. Why are you so passionate about that? I would like to know. Okay, I, it's very important for people to have to know their genotypes because mm. Nigeria is the capital of sickle cell in the world. There are really? so many people, mm. yes. There are about 3%. Two to three percent of the population have sickle cell. Now this looks very minute, but when you come, when we when we do the maths with oh, the, the numbers, yeah, mm. numbers is in millions. Millions of people are uh, are living with this condition, and this condition, yes, still be say it's not a death sentence. It kills. Mm. I mean, it's it alters the life of an individual. Mm, yeah. So it's quite important that people know their genotypes, so that they do not 
bringing children into the world to go through the experience. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the children that go through this experience. The whole family yes. goes through the experience. I mean, would you like to be a parent that um, has to, instead of being at work or instead of doing normal things, um, at, at intervals, have to rush your children to the hospital, have to spend mm. some money. Mm. You know, it, it's, it's, it's quite a, I don't want to call it a burden because I live with sickle cell as well, but to be honest, if we are being honest about it, it's, it's nice. something you should want to avoid. The, I would say that the people living with AS have a less chance of having malaria because of the S variant. Okay. The S variant was formed as an immunity to malaria a long that time ago. That is people ago. with AS? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just saying S variant S generally. Variant. Okay. So it's now that's due to the fact that there was a mismatch along the line that people now have sickle cell. But apart from that, anybody can have AS. I mean, I have malaria, a -A -A -S -S -S. It just depends. So, for instance, we could say cancer for now. We could say HIV. We could say what other diseases or illnesses are in the world. Anybody can have it. It's just that people living with sickle cell are prone mm. to more of these diseases. I mean, anybody can have kidney failure, anybody can have, mm. depends on how you take care of yourself generally. Self, yes. It's just because people with sickle cell are, more are prone yeah, to more because of the, the nature of their... Is it mm. possible for the genotype to change? change. <laughs> Let me tell you why I premised that question. Yes. I have heard of stories of persons who took tests yes. upon tests, mm. and then each test result came out different. First time you did a test, it was AA. Second time you did it, it was AS. Yes. And then when you went for the, like, okay, what's going on? The person was sick mm -hmm. consistently. And then they found that, okay, person was SC. So the question is, was it, I don't know, was it a mistake or is it that something happened along the line and the genotype okay, changed? I would like to use myself as an example. Okay. okay. Because I've experienced it. Hmm. So I'm a religious person. I'm a, I'm a spiritual person. I believe in God. I'm yes. a Christian. Um, so for a very long time, I used to pray for genotype change. Okay. I mean, that was like, people used to come and meet me and say, why don't you ask God to change your genotype, genotype. and whatnot. I mean, it put a lot of pressure on me. I don't have that prayer point anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> but along the line, I felt very ill, which led to me having a blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. I had this, my father donated his blood, his AS, okay. to me. And so I wasn't getting better. I had to be referred to another hospital. On getting to the new hospital, they had to do their own tests. And that was when they found out that I was AS. And just before then, I had been called, you know, by a few friends who were praying for me that I should change, check my genotype, it has, that God has changed it. it. And so, you know, they did the test and were like, you are AS, why are you here? And I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm like, I'm really ill. I'm not AS, I'm SS. They did this test three times. It's a government hospital, so they, they were quite sure. Mm. It was much later. So here I was living with this miracle. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was a miracle, really. But over a year, I didn't fall ill. And then all of a sudden, I, I started to, will I say, doubt, and you know. And then I found out that actually, when you do blood transfusions, sure. your oh. blood, the, your, if you do a genotype test, mm. your blood is very prone to reflect the blood that was given to you. To you. Mm. Oh. Now, it doesn't mean that I do not believe in miracles. miracles. Mm. But this, uh, we haven't seen so far any scientific proof, proof to it. Mm. We haven't seen any scientific proof to it. What do you think are the major reasons why people fall prey to, um, to the demerits of not being compatible? Like, why, why, why do people get to... People who know their question, ASAs, right? yes. they still go ahead. Go yes, why, no, no, well, yes, that. And also, like, why do we even have that gen genotype compatibility Limiting. problem? Mm. Okay, so there are many reasons, really. Yeah, people, people are just unaware. So many people just are unaware mm, about their about genotype. It. Some people were told by their parents they are a particular genotype and they grew up to believe it. There's also the issue of errors while doing these tests. Mm. Mm. There's also the issue of I'm going ahead with faith. I mean, I even know medical practitioners who know they are not compatible but just believe that you know, they are going to go ahead with it. There's the issue of misinformation. For instance, people believe that, okay, if um, AS and AS get together, there's only, it, there's, they, they will only have one child with sickle cell. That is mm. so not true. You have 25% mm. chance of giving birth to someone with sickle cell at every child birth, mm. Mm. at every conception. Okay. So it's all about awareness, really. And another thing about it is that I feel like, the more people get to know, the more they will begin to make 
adjustments. Mm -hmm. You can't force people to marry people who they are compatible with. There are other human things, attributes relating mm -hmm. to these things, yes. apart from genotype. Although genotype compatibility is extremely important, important, there are also other human attributes. So if we try to put in laws or force people or whatnot, we will only see rebellion. Mm. What True. we can do is just inform Make them as understand. much as possible. Yes. Okay. yes. Now, let's take, for example, the way people... When there was HIV, there was a there was mm. uh, there was HIV everywhere. Force. Mm. Yeah. It was unfortunate. And but people, there was uh, initially people were still going ahead to have unprotected sex, mm. despite the fact that there was a warning. Yes. But because there was this, there, a lot of money was pumped into awareness. There were movies, there were documentaries, yeah. there were pamphlets. It was every it was in everyone's face. Everybody began to. You know, become yeah, aware. Yes, it, it, it became it sunk into people's subconsciousness. Mm -hmm. So, apart the reason why there's an, another reason why there's genotype incompatibility is even when people are unaware, I mean, are aware, they do not understand the they do not understand how important it is to try to avoid bringing people li living with sickle cell. So. so, for instance, my brother who is AS has lived with me. He knows how serious mm. the condition is. He will not go because he has the experience. Mm -hmm. It's different from someone who is just randomly on the streets and we are trying telling, don't you know just this? Telling the yeah. person, so he yeah. doesn't really know what sickle cell is all about. If you do not have like a personal ex encounter with Encounter. it, you still have the, um, you still have the, the tendency to tendency go ahead to and to, mm. yeah. Let me mm -hmm. just, I mean, try my luck or whatever. Does sickle cell have a treatment? Like, can someone be cured of it? Because I have heard that there is bone marrow transplant mm. that can also make it easier yes. for someone living with SS, uh, with the sickle cell to... Or other blood diseases. Or, yeah, too. other blood diseases to, um, you know, live a better life or have a better quality of life. What do you think about that? Yes, there, there's, there's a cure. I mean, you've mentioned bone marrow, marrow transplant. Okay. There's stem cell therapy. Mm. There, are, there are even interventions coming up every day. Okay. So, for instance, let me explain what this bone marrow transplant is. Okay. There's some... Initially, they could only do this bone marrow transfer if they could find a full match. That mm. means a direct family member who has the match with you. But now they've extended to having half matches, meaning anybody in the... As long as we, we don't have necessarily have to be related, 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 can donate the bone marrow to one. Now we are, they are even advancing to where they will take your bone marrow, mm. treat it, and put it back into you. Mm. So wow. interventions are happening mm. every time. We only just pray that... You know, we will see the But like they always yes. say, prevention is better than yes. cure. I'm telling you. But another thing is, um, there are still there are still a lot of trials and you know going. Through. So that's why bone marrow is not bone marrow transplant is not so popular because the, thankfully the risks involved with it is tra is is reducing. Reducing. Mm. Yes. Tra so we are hoping to a point where you know it be the risk will be non-existent. Mm. Mm. Hello there. Did you just enjoy that beautiful video? Don't worry, we have more for you. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button and ring that little bell for more notifications. Tea or coffee will be served for you.